so I'm about to read scripture and I want you guys to tell me what you think based off of what's going on in Gaza right now and based off on what Israel is doing. So it goes like this. Hosea 1. And we're going to read most of it. So just uh, we're going to read 1 through 5 probably. So and then I want your thoughts. The word of the Lord that came to Hosea, son of Beeri, during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and during the reign of Jeroboam, son of Jehosha, king of Israel. Hosea's wife and children. When the Lord began to speak through Hosea, the Lord said to him, Go marry a promiscuous woman and have children with her. For like an adulterous wife, this land is guilty of unfaithfulness to the Lord. So she married Gomer. So he married Gomer, daughter of Dibliam. And she conceived and bore him a son. Then the Lord said to Hosea, call him Jezreel. Because, it because I will soon punish the house of Jehu for the massacre of Jezreel, and I will put an end to the kingdom of Israel. In that day, I will break Israel's bow in the valley of Jezreel. Gomer conceived again and gave birth to a daughter. The Lord said to Hosea, call her Lo Ruahmah, which means not loved. For I will no longer show love to Israel, that I should at all forgive them. Yet I will show love to Judah, and I will save them, not by bow, sword, or battle, or by horses and horsemen, but I, the Lord, their God, will save them. So I went to eight, um, but I want to get your thoughts on that. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it there. This is the word of the Lord. Scripture being read to you live. God's word, the Bible, the Holy Bible. Tell me what you think in the comment section and how it relates to what's going on now with Israel, with Gaza. I have my opinions. I have my thoughts. I have my emotions. And they are deep and I'm the type of person that it gets affected by world events. They affect me. I get affected by the world, the energy around me. Really, I, I feel it very deeply. Um, so I just kind of making this video to reach out to you guys to see if you guys can offer some type of clarity as to what's going on, because I sure don't understand. I really don't because the number one teaching of God, Jesus, has always been love, and that's why he came. Uh, so I'm a little confused as to what's going on right now in Israel, well, with Gaza and Israel. So maybe you guys could shed, shed, uh, shed some light 